Hello guys, how are you doing? In this video, we'll talk about the British Columbia PNP Tech Pilot program. So many people have been asking about this video, so here it is. We'll talk about the overview of this program, the eligibility criteria, and also the step-by-step -step process. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon so that you don't miss any of those videos. And now you can follow me on Instagram as well. My Insta handle is dreamabroad.mylife. Okay, so just a few days ago, I uploaded this video of the British Columbia PNP program. It was about the overview, the streams, the substreams, and also the eligibility criteria of all those streams and substreams. The link is in the description box below. If you want, you can check it out. The extension to this video is the video you're watching right now, the British Columbia Tech Pilot Program. So let's begin with the overview. The British Columbia technology sector is a major driver of economic growth in the province. The demand for talent in BC's tech sector is increasing faster than the supply. In support of these priorities, a pilot project under the BCPNP works to ensure the technology sector can attract and retain the talent it needs to be sustained and to grow the sector further. The BCPNP Tech Pilot helps employers to address their talent needs by providing a fast-tracked permanent immigration pathway for in-demand foreign workers and international students. Timeliness Weekly invitations to apply are issued to qualified, skilled tech workers, minimizing the weight for employers and their respective employees. So this is the main attraction that the invitations are sent out every week. Every week you go on to their website, you'll find the invitations are sent out every week and you'll find the details over there. Okay, so let me quickly tell you about the in-demand occupations and then we'll move on to the eligibility criteria. So these are the 29 in-demand occupations that is listed on their website. So it includes telecommunication carriers manager, computer information systems manager, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, computer engineers, database analysts, software engineers and designers, web designers and so on. I mean there are so many I can't read all of them because the video will be too long right. So if you want your NOC, if you want about your title, you can pause it and you can check it out. I'll also provide the link in the description box below. Okay, so now let's talk about the eligibility and how it actually works. So BCPNP will issue invitations on a weekly basis, as I told you, to qualified registrants who have a valid job offer in one of the 29 eligible occupations. So yes, just like the other streams, this BCPNP Tech Pilot Program also has one eligibility criteria and that is the foremost one that you should have a job offer from one of those 29 eligible occupations. I know this might be depressing for a lot of people but yes, I mean this is what it is so I'll tell you in detail about it now. Job offers under the BCPNP Pilot must be one of the 29 eligible occupations as I told you. It should be at least one year in duration and have 120 calendar days remaining at the time of application. So these are the three points which are very necessary and which are very important for the BCPNP Tech Pilot Program. The free registration process includes providing information about the applicants supporting British Columbia employer. In order to be issued an ITA, both the applicant and his or her employer must meet all program requirements at the time of registration. So the first thing is to get a job offer and then obviously the next steps will follow. The BCPNP will continue to invite non-tech candidates through its other immigration initiatives. So this is about the eligibility criteria. The foremost eligibility criteria is getting the job offer. And after that, you can go on with the complete process of permanent residency. Now, what is that process? Let's discuss. So first of all, you have to register yourself after getting the job offer, of course. Then there are weekly invitations. Once you get your name over there, then you have to submit the application. 
the processing is done on priority and uh, the application will be sent to IRCC and it would go for the permanent residency. You'll get the permanent residency after that. Now this process is completely different from the express entry so don't confuse the criteria for eligibility of express entry don't apply over here so they don't ask for the proof of funds they don't ask uh, for IELTS and so on. Okay now let's discuss these points in detail. Once a candidate has determined his or her category he or she may register online and receive a registration score. Registration is free of cost. Every week subject to processing capacity the BCPNP will conduct a tech draw to invite the highest scoring technology sector registrants to apply. Invited candidates have up to 30 calendar days from the date of invitation to submit a complete online application. The government application fees is 700 Canadian dollars. The BCPNP will process the application on a priority basis. If approved, the applicant receives a nomination that he or she can use to apply for the permanent residency. Individuals who have been nominated and who meet the conditions of their nomination will receive a work permit support letter that allows them to obtain or renew their current work permit allowing them to work through the process. So this is the complete process. I know that this was quite a bit a high level uh, video of the complete process but I mean this is what it is and this is basically what you need to know. So if you have the job offer from these 29 job occupations you have the NOC code there so please be very specific about it so if you have that you have a great chance of getting the PR through the BC Tech Pilot program so thank you guys for watching this video I just hope that uh, the information shared in this video would be helpful for you guys if you like the video please click the like button and share it with your friends as well also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please consider subscribing before moving on to the next video. Thank you.